Hello, this is Kitty for Transgroom TV and today we have Fretje. Fretje is a Brussels griffon and it's very long, it has a normal grooming coat but instead of grooming it the traditional way we're gonna prepare Fretje to have a rolling coat. A rolling coat means it has many layers and it's like shorter and thicker and the only thing is you have to groom it every week, two week or three week depending on the coat, depending on the breed. Anyway, Fretje we're going to do every two weeks from now on for the coming four months and gradually we're going to have a rolling coat. Many show dogs have rolling coats but also staging coat. And what is staging the coat? Uh, staging the coat is hand stripping because we are speaking about hand stripping on this video and only hand stripping. The staging the coat is where you have on week one, for example, you groom the legs all short. On week four, you groom the back. On week six, you groom the head. And on week 10 or week eight, the dog is totally ready to go to the dog show. The disadvantage of this type of grooming is at a certain period your dog is ready to go to the dog show for about four or six weeks. You can show the dog but gradually the hair comes too long and you have to start this process again. And while you are doing this process, the grooming of the legs and the, after four weeks the back, then you can not show your dog. So I prefer the rolling coat. The rolling coat you have Every week or two weeks you have to hand strip the longest point and then you have the coat ready all year around. Of course, every week you have to start stripping every single week to not lose your rolling coat. So every time you hand strip a hair, it takes four weeks for the new hair to break through. So if you have a show dog and your dog is in a rolling coat, if you strip every week your dog's coat. Every week you'll have new hairs coming out and on the top of all the layers you'll have layers which are very ripe and very ready to take out. But if you need to have for example a top line where you have more hair than the rest of the coat, if you have a rolling coat you can style your coat however you like. If you have a thin dog you can have on the sides or more hair, you can have layers, you can create whatever style you like with a rolling coat. This is very important to tell you. Here you see me stripping off one part of the coat of Fretje and I put it on a white piece of paper to show you it's all one layer. It's important to know just before we start the video most groomers would take everything off and then start the rolling coat, but with Fretje we're going to do it the opposite. Every week or every two weeks he's going to come to do a small part. For the prep work we are using the Terrier Palm Pad from Showtech, the Showtech Combi Comb, the Showtech Rosewood Slicker Brush, the smallest size, and the Eye Comb. So let us prepare Fretje first for what's coming, so I'm combing. Let's first clean out the eyes and brush Fretje so we don't have any mats while we are stripping. So today we're going to use the wide stripping knife from Showtech, the extra large, to do some carding so all the wool gets out of the coat. If you take wool out it's going to re new the coat, it's going to make place in the follicle for new hairs to come out, it's very important, it's something you can't forget. And we're also going to use the Ultra Pro stripping knife and the solid stripping knife from Showtech. We're going to use the grippy fingers which are the orange like finger condom type of tool and we're going to use the original finger condoms. Let's do some hand stripping. Today I'm going to try to take 20% out of the coat so I have enough hair the next coming weeks to each time take 20% out. And in five groomings we should have a rolling coat or a coming rolling coat. Um, so today it's very important we strip everywhere a little bit and not too much. And we don't skip over certain places. Just lift up the hair with the terrier pad or with your fingers 
and just take out the points. It's a good system when you are using the grippy fingers, you just do with your fingers one and then you take the point of the hair and you go two. And again you take the hair and the point you go two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. That's a very good system. So you can't over rush yourselves. You have to do it gently and keep on pulling out the hairs. It's also very important with your left hand, as you can see here, with this part of my hand, I'm holding it gently to the skin, so when I take the hairs out, the skin doesn't come with us. It's like holding the skin tight, and then with my right hand, I'm pulling out the hairs. And here you see me again with the terrier palm pad, brushing up and down, and then you see clearly here that each time I'm lifting the coat, you see me taking the points out. You can see me working on the tail and this is a very sensitive spot for the dog but still it's no use you scissor this, the tail because you can see here like the hair is a different quality that's maybe because the tail was scissored before or the inside of the tail was scissored before you should do a little bit at a time and don't take many hairs out to make it as comfortable as possible for the dog the first grooming will be like not a big difference, of course. It will be thinner, of course, but shorter it won't be. So you will gradually see Freccia get thinner, the hair will be thinner. Gradually you're gonna see Freccia have a rolling coat. Let's do some other prep work. I'm going to use the Showtech Amigo to do the genitals and clean this area nicely out so you know you can keep it clean and tidy and you will also see me using the Amigo for doing the pads. So for doing the pads I'm holding like the feet like this and I'm taking the two outside fingers and I can nicely scoop out between the pads. Here you see which product I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Showtech grooming chalk and the ear powder. And I also have the grooming chalk brush. So here again you see me very nicely keeping the skin tight with my left hand and stripping with my right hand. And here for the tummy I'm like holding his two front legs up and by holding his legs up he's skin on his tummy and on his chest is tight. I can just strip it like this. Only a little bit at the time because it's very sensitive. Here you see me holding up the front leg so the skin is tight at the chest to easily strip the chest. It's maybe difficult to understand but if you hand strip only like this you take hairs from one point but when you take the left hand and you take a bunch of hair with your left hand and you lift it and then if you take the top you get hairs from the left, from the right, from the bottom and from the top way. With the lifting you will never have bald spots. If you just groom like this it's possible you will have a bald area. The areas which are very difficult to strip because it's hard you can use the stripping powder. The stripping powder will not only give you more grip, but it, it, it will make it like easier when you use your left hand to pull the hairs up that, so they will stay up better. You will also see the hairs better, which needs grooming. This is the advantages of the Showtech grooming chalk. And to apply the grooming chalk, you can just do it with a special bottle or you can use the chalk brush. And here you see me using the solid stripper because the hair is soft and there's a lot of hair and it's easier to use the solid stripper for the moment. So don't worry about using different tools. You can also use stripping stones, you can use whatever is necessary at this point in your situation which is good and you don't damage the coat. Using the thimbles 
and the grippy fingers for a reason. When you use this kind of tools and you pull the hair and you put the hair on a white piece of paper, you will see you have 100% pulled hair out. Now, if you have other grooming equipment and you don't have any grippy fingers available, you can use whatever you can, but I would advise you to test your equipment. And to test your equipment, it's very simple. You, you are using your normal equipment and hand strip apart, but take the hair instead of letting it fall on the table, have a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and let the hair fall on this white piece of paper. And then you can investigate the hairs on the paper. If these hairs are 100% pulled out, you won't have any short hair or broken hair on this piece of paper. So if you see any broken hairs there, short hairs, I wouldn't advise to use your system, if it's the case, on rolling coats or show dogs. Many terriers are totally hand stripped, but when it comes to the toes, the coat is a total different texture. It's soft, it's curly, and it's also the case with Fretcher. So it's difficult with Fretcher, but I also insist of grooming out the, the, the legs and the toes. So I'm going to not like scissor very much on it, just below a bit, but mostly as much as possible, I'm going to hand strip everything. So also the head, we are going to try not to go too short for the first time because we really need hair to play with and we need extra layers to come through in four weeks. Now I'm using the finger condoms and not the thimbles. I don't really have a preference. Sometimes I have the feeling like in thicker coats it's better to use the grippy fingers and in softer coat I would use the finger condoms. And I'm using the finger condoms because the hair on the head is like softer. So I'm like making a line from the eye to the ear and everything on top has to be like shorter. And then below that eye will be the cheeks, the beard on the cheeks and the beard and the beard itself. It's going to be difficult to send Fretcher home. Because normally when you groom, you groom beautiful and the dog goes home perfectly groomed. But this time, Fretcher is going to have to go home just a bit thinned. It's like nothing happened. But we all know we are creating a rolling coat, also the owner. So this is the way Fretcher is going to have to go home. You will also see me working on the beard and the cheeks. Because also there, you don't have to think that you don't need any new hair. You don't need to pull out a lot, but it's advisable each grooming you do, you take a part out of the beard and out of the cheeks. So you have to like uh, make sure you take a part from everywhere and you start in the bottom and going to the top or you start at the top going to the bottom, but also cheeks and beard needs grooming, stripping. <laughs> So under the ears as well, it's difficult. You have the stripping powder, the stripping chalk, and you have the ear powder. The ear powder is also made to have more grip. When it's very difficult, the very difficult sensitive parts, I would use the ear powder under the, under the ear or on the ears or even on tails. Here you see me very nice thinning out the beard and the cheeks. I'm taking a little bit at a time and I'm just pulling out the longest bits. When Fretje is sitting down, you can see some bald spots in his chest and his neck. I guess I tried to do like 20%, but here I certainly did more. But it's okay. It's all going to be fine. So here you see me cutting a little bit at the feet, not too high just cutting them a little round. Follow the feet and do it as round as possible. And we here we have a helper. Hello Luna. Actually, I'm not going over the pads ever with my scissor. That means when I have to scissor here, I'm going to scissor like this. I'm going to follow the pads, the outside. But if I see something here, I'm never going to do that because 
one day you won't be careful and you do that and you want, you want to clip the hair but you're going to clip a part of the pad. So I have like a system where I never ever ever go with my scissors over the pad. So when there's hair here I'm going to do it from that way or from that way. I'm going to go like around but I'm not going to go over the pads with my scissor for safety. This was the first part on how to create a rolling coat on a Brussels griffon. Here you see some pictures of before and after of Fretch's first grooming. This was Kitty for Transgroom TV. If you like the video, you can click on the thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.